Okay, so we want to hit the red rooster first? Yeah, that'd okay. be awesome. And I think we should probably walk around the courthouse to take a look at that because the courthouse is a lovely, uh, what is it, Second Empire, 19, uh, 1860s style. The courthouse actually replaced an 1810s wood building. It was an old like log cabin. Much it's smaller. a really beautiful shape. You can see the work, they've, the preservation they've done yep. on it. It's nice. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. They do have the round windows now. Yep. This has really come a long way. Yep, they sure will. So, you did, you did your uh, metal detecting right around here. I found a lot of silver. Yep, yep. Hey, nice. This well is from the 1820s, and, uh, or 1830s, sorry. That's, that's about whenever the town was incorporated, I believe. Or at least when people first started getting here. Hey, you, you've been down there, haven't you? No, but he's in a camera down there. Okay. Yeah. So now, um, this is the 1813 edition. This is the, or 1913, sorry. 1913 edition, 1905 edition. And the main building is 1903. Where were you on that lift prying stuff off of the walls? Remember, there was like, <sighs> like steel and air conditioning and stuff? On the back. Okay. Oh, and I do want to point out, I think the, uh, this is actually multiple additions on this building. Originally, it was just the front part. And I think the entire back part with the little two towers, I think that was actually its own addition on its own. Okay, like so the 1880s, which they were, they were still able to have like the same people do it, so it looks the same. But then this front part has all the air conditioning on it. That is like 1930s. Wow. It evolved over time. Oh, I'm running out of power, so I might not have enough electricity. Oh uh, yeah, they're using the bricks. Yeah, so this is the building for the brewery. It's really coming along. Alright, so I get it. So, okay, he went out, he did his thing, and uh, yeah, he and came back home and got this, and... Uh, yeah, he, yeah, this, this is like my friend's retirement project. Oh, we can go inside. We can go to the basement. Oh, oh nice. Restoring old stuff. So it's going to be a brewery. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be part of the restaurant down here. Oh, they already got the flooring in. Uh, my arcade machines are going to go in here. The video's doing really well. This is going to be an arcade machine area. Oh, you can take a peek inside this area now. Right here. I don't have this on. But it's really lovely. You can see the back of the building there. I love these foundations. They're really lovely. Isn't that weird how my camera can pick up better than our eyes? So you can just use like almost use the camera as a night vision goggle. Yep. Get a step down here so just be careful. Yep. But this actually goes up into the. These are. Uh, the this is the. Oh, they've actually dug out the side of the hill, and so now this is at street level instead of underground. Yeah, this used to be underground actually. Do you remember that video where I I chopped up that old radiator? Like the ground was up to about here. That was here. right here. The ground was up to about. And I had windows up there, but now it's just because the same level as the road. They just dug it out. Yeah, I followed that whole series with the with the red rooster. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. was, that was I enjoyed that. Whole I really want to get I really want to get back to helping, but I'm focused on the workshop for now. Sure. This is the called the the barn room. These are from I think an old church or a barn. I I think it's like called the barn room, but not from a barn. I think it's made wood from a church. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the brewery. I love the design of the uh, upside down trusses that they have. Look at that. That is really cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Upside down trusses. How cool is that? And look at that behind you. Oh wow. Isn't that such beautiful architecture? That's nice. This is the building that I helped tear down right here. <laughs> I would have never thought of upside down trusses. I mean yeah. that wouldn't have crossed my mind. That's so so lovely. Guess it, yeah. I mean they're gonna work just as good, right? How about that? Um Oh my battery's dying, so I'm gonna have to switch over to my phone to crap video. Look at that spool. I want that. I know someone else will probably want that though, so I won't get it. <laughs> oh wow, this is really opened up. Cat never came back, huh? No. no. Someone probably adopted the cat. Oh well. Yeah. Is 
a little girl's dance studio. Yeah. So, little girls seeing a little kitten. Mm -hmm. They take yeah. it. We're pretty sure that it went home with someone. They, they, they take it without realizing that it already has a home. Which yeah. is so weird, because like, when I show picture, uh, videos of the cat, they're like, oh, someone should adopt it. It's like, it already has a big mansion, and it has all of these people coming around petting it all the time. I think the cat's happy. Oh, the cat was in, in seventh heaven right yeah. here. Yeah. It's like there was some article years ago about, you know, feral cats in some town or whatever. But the picture that they used was a cat behind a KFC in the dumpster. And this cat oh, hey. was like 20 pounds. Oh, hey, there's a cat. And it's like, that's not a feral cat. That cat has a KFC Hey, there's dumpster, a cat. You know? Huh? There's, there's a cat. Same one? No, different. Where at? You just went back there. Oh. It was gray with white paws. I don't doubt it. There's a lot of kittens yeah. this time of year. They're doing a lot of work. Yeah, it's going crazy. My goodness. It's like a store, isn't it? Yeah. This is the store, pretty much. This is what we call it. Yeah. Don't forget to look up. There's also cool stuff up. Isn't that neat? It is. Yeah. Layers and layers of paint on the old plaster and boss ceiling. And you know what? If we go, uh, Let's go get some popcorn at the theater, but if they're not showing a movie in one of the theaters, ask them if we can look around for the architecture. Okay. Because it's a, it's like an 1880s theater. I, they either have a two or four o'clock. Yeah. So they may be open, may not be Yeah, the theater here is, you go see the movie, $5. It's popcorn. Oh, and there's no ads either. No ads. No ads. No ads. I'll be Sometimes they'll have a private and, video. And the, yeah, well, it's it's their family video, like for their family companies. Now, that's oh, different. It's like one nice. of the one of the. They also greet you at the door with a tuxedo. Yeah, or a nice suit, one of the yeah. two, or whatever it is. Like it's really, really nice. Yeah. It's like wow. a five star experience. I took this one home because John was like, ah, I don't need it, so he put it in the dumpster and I took it home. Then then later on he's like, Do you saw the thing? I really need it. It's like, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so if you're a popcorn and drink, it's eight dollars, and that that includes admission, popcorn and drink. Oh, that's unbelievable! It's eight more than eight dollars for the popcorn mm -hmm. or for the drink where I'm oh, from. Oh, and out in California, the movie theaters you have like thirty minutes yeah. of of advertisement. Yeah, the only time they'll up. have an ad is for background the cop well, coffee because yeah, they have a coffee the, company. The theater, uh, their kid owns a uh, coffee. What do you call it? Black private coffee. They yeah. have their own coffee. Grinder and everything. Grind, whatever, grindery? Grindery? Oh, come over here. This is a storeroom. I saw, I I saw my check. I thought there was like a loop that you would get on. Oh, the not that way, not that way. Storeroom is covered up on the doors. <laughs> is it that way now still, or is it not? There's a loop, but it's such a big city. It's skyscrapers even, in Nashville. I remember when we were teenagers, and... We were trying to get off to where our, sorry, where our hotel was at. Mm -hmm. We were staying in a hotel there for whatever reason. I forget why we were staying. And there was a seal test company. We saw the big sign for seal test. And I remember... It's for the pillars out front. Oh, wow. I remember saying, Dad, there's a seal test company again. A little while later. Dad, we just went by the seal test company again. We were on the loop and we couldn't get off. I don't know. He was trying to figure out the right exit. That's uh, some wallpaper from the bathroom. It was like really famous here. Oh, the one in the town, at least, it was like really weird. I don't know. Oh, wow. But it, it was all across the bathroom. They just, that's the only part they kept, though. So these are the original old windows. Here's well, the Here's yeah. The they were throwing them away and I started kept keeping them. And they're like, hey, maybe we should keep them. It's like, you think? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this stuff. Um... I didn't realize the roof was coming oh, the coming down. Alone? Yeah, I mean, I don't know yeah. if gonna, they're going to be using here, but, well, but scrap. it needs to be it needs to be recycled. Each, yeah. for each one of those. I mean, well, look like, at, well, look at that old glass. What do they call that? You know, float glass or something. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at it. Well, like um, that mm -hmm. plow that plow I found on the dumpster a couple of days ago. It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, that that what? thing didn't even have any hard scratches. On I know. It. Looked like it was fresh out of the box. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're saving that. Yep. No, they've been ripping up a bunch of the flooring because there's been some issues with, well, there was a big fire, like where the boilers got on fire, like in the 60s, mm -hmm. and so a lot of those beams were all burnt up, and they also had a, I, I believe that they had, here's some of the original stuff, but these are in nicer condition than some of them, but like, some of the beams that I have, like four inches are rotted out from the bottom, so they went from 2x12s to 2x6s pretty much, 2x8s. 
it's not quite so trustable. Well, I see they've, they've restored the integrity. To the oh, yeah. No. They've also redone a lot of the the formatting of the rooms so they can, well, because modern technology, like you can actually fit a kitchen into a much smaller space now. Yeah. You have yeah. a smaller kitchen, and small microwave oven, and all that kind of stuff. Whereas back in the day, you had like a really big refrigerator. And so now you're going to have four rooms for each one. And uh, instead of having two apartments for each one. Do you know if your friend designed it himself, the, the renovation, or did he get an architectural firm to help him? I think him and his wife pretty much just worked together on it. Wow. Going through it, because it's not, it's not too hard if you tackle it and be reasonable, like just imagine. Now, does Tony you work with him or not? What? Does Tony work with him? Uh, a little bit, but Tony works on other restoration. I mean, he could have probably given him pointers too. If they oh, yeah, uh, definitely. But I think Tony mostly works on like trim and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So like he'll, he'll definitely come in to help with whenever things are more finalized. I remember when you first started coming over here, there was lots of little rooms that didn't make sense and they, mm -hmm. had, they had kind of modified it over time and rented it as yep. little, little rooms or cottages. Yep. Just, uh, yeah, this... just anything to get another room. A closet would turn into, a, into an apartment think, pretty much. Well, I think back in the day they were hotel rooms and people were satisfied with a smaller hotel room. Yeah. Then they turned them into actually apartments, but they were too tiny to be apartments. And then this place really went downhill with like the drugs and stuff like that because it just pretty much turned into a drug den for the last couple decades of the ownership. So that's why Hillsborough really, really wanted to get this kind yeah. of thing done. And the that's problem is, this done. place has already had a failed restoration once mm -hmm. in the 1990s. A new owner bought it and they got like, I think they got some help from the government. See, it wasn't really restored like this with the windows and everything. Well, no, because the guy bought it for his, his daughter and her husband, I think, if I remember yeah. right. But then they like got a divorce. Oh. And it was, it was going to be like a lifelong present where they would like, they would, they would build their family and they'd have a company, but then they, so, so they went back to the father, I think. And so then the dad was like, well, I'll just, whatever, cheapest prices, whatever. I just give some people in here and let it rot away. Yeah. And, uh, like he didn't even want to fix the boiler because, mm -hmm. well, he was pretty much stuck with it because he was, he was thinking his kids were going to take it uh, or his, whatever. And, um, cause like, uh, John told me that. Um, whenever he was showing them like how to run everything, you would you have to like fill the boiler up like four gallons of water each day because it leaks so much water, and they just didn't want to fix it and just stuff like that. Sure. So it's it's definitely. Um, well, he's he's th restoring the integrity of it. You know, it's the arresting. Already, already, it's been it's better than anything it has been since like the sixties, most likely. Yes. Yeah. It's it, it's it's in really nice sound quality now. There's been a lot of places like like with the lumber that's been burned or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's much much better. I think one of the things is they keep they keep discovering new things like oh uh, I guess we're gonna have to rip that out or whatever because initially they weren't gonna be ripping out any of these walls, but then they realized the flooring was all kind of buggered up or whatever the term is. All of a sudden they're like well I guess we should go ahead and remove the walls. Because if we're gonna be moving the floor, and then once they got the floor, then they had to move other stuff, and it's like, well, I guess after a while, like they got really close to just re redoing the entire building, from what I get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might have been quicker. Sometimes I kind of wonder about about that with my workshop, because I extended, I, I I delayed the the work and yeah. gave myself an extra month of work just by using that that 1909 hardwood flooring for walls. It was a real like. It was a learning experience. I don't know if I'd do it again, but I might. Well, if they didn't cut it up into three foot pieces, it'd be much different. Right. Yeah. But I mean, think of the think of the charm and the difference um, that that building is now. The, yeah. Your workshop. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's nothing quite like it. And I and I was telling my wife and Jenny, I said, uh, you know, Ren cut every one of these boards by hand and fitted them, mm -hmm. you know, meticulously, mm -hmm. yeah. and you stuck with it day after day week after week and it was hot and it was cold and it didn't matter you did it it was fucking shit yes and i remember the night you finished the last one because you sent me a message and said done yeah and and then you know pa you put that video on because you were really proud and you mm -hmm. deserved to be yeah but the fact that you cut all those by hand and you know but that's one of your choosings too you don't like all that fancy power stuff no. well thanks to the right nice saw that you gave me didn't you you gave me that saw right yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but stuff. but the reason I did that was because I just knew that that uh, when I saw you had that uh, you had like an El Cheapo version of a Japanese <laughs> yeah, saw, yeah. you know, and and I saw that and you were working so hard and I thought you know 
I know where I can find one, a real Japanese one. And I, the only person in the world that would appreciate that besides me that I know is you. You want to know something? I think I might actually be wearing that saw out. I'm well, looking. I'm looking at the tips and I'm starting to get rounded because I've cut like two thousand boards with that thing so far. Can well, you sharpen it or is it? Not really, because it's hardened steel. But that's, the problem is every saw has a little staple or something like that, yeah. and I go. Zzz. And yeah, but you know what? It served its purpose. Oh, definitely, definitely. And the yep. other side still works. It's just the uh, cross cut that has issues. So I might see if I get another blade. Yeah, you, they, they have replacement blades. Oh, oh yeah. It's, it's like well, 20 bucks less if okay. you don't buy the whole thing. Well, that's the thing. It's mostly just a blade. and you're, They have it hardened, so if you if you don't be reckless like me yeah. and actually hit a, a staple. Well, I was surprised fine. how fast it would cut the wood. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, it was amazing. The, the pull cut is so much better than push cut. Oh, yeah. I have I have two I have um, I have one for flush cutting and I have one just like yours only a little bit smaller one sided yes yeah I saw that one it's really good. that'd be great for like trim and oh it is um, and you saw what I was doing uh, cut, cutting dowels flush and, and different surfaces but the uh, the Japanese hand tools oh my god once you put one in your hand you're saying like what was I ever doing mm -hmm. with this old you know yeah. a, a saw that cuts on the push stroke it's just silly oh yeah you know. Yeah. And uh, the, the artistry of those guys, what they were able to do just with their hands and with, with rough tools, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. but, um, but I think you put that saw to the best possible use. And you know what? So what? You hit a few nails, yeah. you wear it out, you get a new one. And then when you start doing fine woodworking, you know. You get, yeah, get a well, what I, new one for the nice stuff. Well, yes. what, what I might do is experiment with making um, like a, a machine that can cut, like, like cut off like a centimeter. Mm -hmm. On the bottom, just make new teeth and retemper it. You see, like you just cut away yeah, and make new teeth because yeah. the teeth themselves are like too brittle to really grind. But if you just cut away the teeth and make a, make a whole set of teeth above it, that'd be fine. You kind of cut back the thing. I don't know. It's an idea. Well, it it could be done. I'm I'm a little nervous. It would be like you know when we were talking about the uh, silk screening plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know where you is it more worth is it worth it or did you spend more? But if I can get a video, I can I can get more money. Yes and. <laughs> See, um, that, see that, that's the thing. People ask me, why do you do this? There's no sense. It's like, well, at the very least, I get a little money from it. I get 20 bucks or whatever. Well, well you know, you said it real well. Uh, a gentleman wrote you and said, um, you know, you got too much stuff. Why are you getting this stuff? And you said, well, if I don't have this stuff, I don't have a business. I don't have a, a paycheck. You know, a paycheck. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty logical. Mm -hmm. This is how you're earning, you know? It's not junk. It's inventory. Mm-hmm. And... Mm -hmm. um, you got some of that from me too, because I'm known as ready for anything. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely, I definitely had that at Apple. Anytime someone needs something, they know they can come to me, and I probably have it either with me or can get it by tomorrow because I, I have it. I had the exact same thing. One of the higher ups was getting on a flight to Germany or wherever the fuck she was going, and she and she, one of her soles for one of her shoes fell off, and she came right to me, even though she was like my boss's 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 boss. And, and she was like, quick, I need some epoxy for rubber. And I was like, oh, which kind do you want? And I pulled out my drawer at my desk, and I just had like 30 different times the types of glue. And I was like, here you go. And she was like, oh, my God, thanks. And I happen to have like a big C-clamp thing with me yeah, on my desk. Of and course. So, so I stuck that on the thing, and she was able to get on the plane with a, a glued shoe. So it was good. <laughs> You're a real MacGyver. <laughs> and then, uh, well, thank you. That's, you, that's the nice, nicest compliment in a while. Mm -hmm. Come here. I want to show you something. Okay. You might come out here. Oh, the old knife switches. I think they, sit, they took some of them down to save them, but my goodness, they're, so gonna, that, they're gonna keep that. That is really something. So the old uh, that's the original 1902 wiring. Wow. They had all the big knife switches there and stuff like that. So this was the the circuit box. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this building has so many circuit boxes. So many. Oh, circuit. I remember one well, in particular. There was. God, where were they? There was. There was like 20 circuit boxes right here mm -hmm. in this little closet that was right here. Yeah. And there's just so much wiring in these places. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to replace this. It's not. Um, I think they're probably going to replace that. Okay. It's just not quite nice. Oh, they might keep it. It's still like this now. They haven't taken it out. You never know. Oh, look, yeah, you can see too. They added it because this hallway used to be open. Yeah, look at the top of yeah, this. You know, because this, this place was a pretty nasty place, so. Yeah, like a lot of druggy people and stuff. Wow. You know, it, 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 it's kind of a funny path through here. It's bigger than it seems. Hey, I guess. This is some new, uh, oh, I guess there's a fireplace here. Or something. Or, um, what are those? Or a sink? 
Looks like a, those old sinks. Oh, uh, by the way, wiring. this was the apartment of I radiator. I, I don't know. Okay, they they bored holes, and then they put wood in the hole, and then they screwed into the wood rather than the brick. And something was around that. Yeah. So radiator or. Oh, but well, anyway. there's a, this thing where water lines could well, come up, maybe. I don't know. Radiator. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. But um, I was going to say, this is the room of, I think her name is Marion Hartline. No kidding. She kidding. was a really famous movie, uh, TV star. Wow. She had her own, like, like TV show in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. I think she's still alive. She lives up by, by the lake, I think. Wow. So, like, this is her apartment. It was obvious that it had all the bells and whistles because it had, like, a big antenna cable coming out with adapters. So, obviously, she had TV in the kitchen. And that's... It's kind of a rare thing in the 1970s or whatever to have a TV oh, cable was. coming in there. I know it's pretty popular in the 80s though, like my grandma had a TV in there and stuff like that. Well, back uh, back in the 60s and the 70s, you know, TVs were expensive. Oh yeah, but they have, you know, like they have like the little radio or the TV radio mm -hmm. underneath the, oh my, come here, come here. Hear that. Now I take it. What's funny is that in is the cool. 80s when the show Mammy Vice came on. Don Johnson, and, sure. And we watched it and we thought, well, it's, it's a good crime drama show, whatever you call it, police chase show. Yeah. We didn't get what the big deal was. We had a black and white TV. I didn't get the pastel colors. I didn't get the... It was all about pastels So and the whole white. thing was the uh, atmosphere. The atmosphere. And we had no yeah. atmosphere. So finally I saw it one time on a color TV. I'm like, oh my goodness, I get it now. <laughs> like I, did, I, I thought, well, yeah. Didn't think about it. Well, between the music and the colors of that, yeah, it set a whole mood that, oh, yeah. that made all the difference. My because God, my crime a... dramas were like in Chicago or in New York, and it was always kind of drab, and they wanted the Gotham look or whatever. You that, know. that is a very big building. And they had it right. Pick these up then. Yeah. Instead of... yeah. So, guys, we just found a bunch of lumber, some 1902 whole growth lumber, and you're going to take it back for. I am. I'm making a tiki bar run for the yeah. basement of the new house, and we're going to have a redwood hot tub and. Uh, in the basement of the house it's going to be just over the top it's going to be nice. awesome and uh, i'm going to use this for trim on that, on that new bar thing and i'll i'll finish it all up and accentuate so you can see that yeah, growth yeah. you know and also keep a couple for like any handles for tools because I bet good idea. something. If you need some more and there's more, I can always ship it to you. I ship yeah, yeah. It at work. Like these okay. ones, these ones are so you. lovely. Or speedy. I'd probably speedy to you. Speedy, there you no, go. No offense. Um, <laughs> these ones will be so good for handles. Look at that, so that's beautiful. Dense. It doesn't even have any pith in it, they yeah. call it, right? The yeah. center. That is just, just nothing but. Some of wow. these were probably growing in the 1700s. Oh, absolutely. Some of this wood's probably older than, than this country. Yeah, it goes yeah. back It goes back to before the, the Founding Fathers. It's yeah. amazing. Is this piece too small? No, no that's, that's good. A, no, that's perfect. No, because the thing is, yeah. the smallest you can use is like only a few inches because okay. you can just you can use to make handles. Uh, not candles, handles. <laughs> you can. And, and I'm just, getting all out of breath. Well, and you know another trick people do, and you could take a piece of wood like this, and you can plane two sides of it, and you can glue it together and clamp it, yep. and you can make a bigger piece of wood. Yep. And it just, you know, so you can do anything with this stuff. That's huge. Yeah, it is. I love that cast iron. Oh, these are big uh, windows before, because it was a big, like, uh, store, like a multi-story. Yeah, each one of these groups was a window. Oh, what, what's it called? What? Department store, or no? It's yeah, a department store. Department store. It was a department store. De it oh, was. They were. Look the at that. Were nicer with the windows. It's coming out. That, I mean that. Yeah. <laughs> that that window's not going to be there for for long. You can see inside the building. Look up there. Okay, you, the you can see this thing's pushing out. It's actually ripped the screws out. Yeah, this building has a lot of issues. They have techniques to, to stabilize that to fix it. If you have the money. From what yeah. I get, from what I can understand, they're they're doing a lot to fix it though. Let's go across and look at the opera house. How about that? I'm not going to bother filming too much in there because that's an actual business. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now there's gonna be two breweries here. Yes, yeah, micro, and they're friends. But I want you to look at the, I want you to look at the architecture. This building is definitely worth keeping, though. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's like a barn, it's like a gambrel. They call yep. it, isn't it? I'm not sure. I think that's what they call a roof like. That. Uh, those are, I believe, it's mansard roof. This is okay. like an inn from the 1800s. Ma mansard? Yeah, it? mansard. Is this from 1890? But. Sadly, it's rusted up, and it's, that's a cause of a lot of water damage, but they can probably fix it. Well, if they have the money, they can fix it. This place is for sale, too. This entire building. Oh, it's out of business? Well, oh, they, they moved. Move. Okay. They're not that great, though. 
they're actually really crappy. They, last time we were there, they forgot to actually cook the pizza. It's like, what is this shit? Well, oh. they, they went from having a sit-down restaurant to went to all delivery. Yeah. And they seem to be doing very well doing that. A lot of people do like a pizza brought to the front door, don't Yep. They? So, what's your opinion of downtown Hillsboro? Well, it's charming, it's quaint, it's everything small town America ought to be. <laughs> and it's getting better. Yeah, it's getting much better with the Red Rooster and yep. everything. I highly recommend it. It's a lovely place. All right, I almost forgot your wood. That's, that's Don't forget it. the wood, Ren. Well, it's your wood, so it's your job to remember it. And I did. Yeah, you did. I need my old growth lumber. Old growth lumber is really nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!